Are you looking to get conversations set up in HubSpots? Well, we can send all of those messages from three different places into one central inbox. In this video, we're gonna show you how to do just that. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. The idea of HubSpot conversations is a great one because nobody wants to answer support requests or Facebook messages or things from other places all in different platforms. So HubSpot makes it easy with conversations in order to connect everything to one central inbox and then use that with your team to not only assign them uh, those messages to someone else or yourself, but keep a conversation going, hence the name conversations. So let's dive in and take a look about how to set that up and uh, some of the intricacies involved in how that works. So here inside of your HubSpot portal, you're gonna have this inboxes. We got here through the settings uh, tab. So that little gear icon in the top right, and then you're gonna be over here under conversations. So when I click this down, there's gonna be other things in here that we won't cover in this video necessarily, but uh, some filtering rules uh, that you might wanna look at at a future date. So we're gonna click on inboxes. And here in inboxes, we have uh, this, you're, you're gonna get a default inbox that comes in uh, when you set up uh, HubSpot. So this might be called inbox. For the sake of um, what we're gonna do here today, I'm gonna show you just how to create a new inbox. Um, so let's say you have different inboxes. One might be for sales requests, one might be for uh, support requests, maybe one is specific for um, a product or a demo that you're working on. So we're gonna create an inbox uh, for demonstration here. I click create inbox. I'm gonna call this inbox support. And then um, by default, it's gonna assume that everybody on your HubSpot portal is going to be able to access this inbox. If you wanna change this, you can actually select specific users and teams. So teams would require you to set those up over in HubSpot settings. We're not gonna cover that here, but if you wanna have specific users assigned, I can go ahead and select this and then select the users from this list. So if we're looking at this for pure support purposes, you probably want customer support team members to be the ones that have access to this inbox because they'll see it inside their HubSpot portal and then if they have the mobile app, they'll be able to answer on the mobile app as well. But for the sake of uh, what we're doing here today, I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's assign this to everybody um, or everybody gets access to this and then click next. So these are the channels you can currently connect inside of HubSpot conversations. So a team email is going to be something like support at xyz.com. So all of those messages are gonna come into this inbox and then you can assign who responds to them. And when you respond, it's gonna come from that central email address. And then we can actually choose to have it say the person that it came from. Um, chat's going to be that chat uh, conversation on your website. So the little uh, bottom right, we have a video about live chat. If you wanna go check that out to go set up live chat. We'll cover that a little bit here, but mostly that's uh, in that other video. Uh, but li that live chat, when it comes in, again, you could choose to have it assigned to someone. That whole conversation then stays here in HubSpot Conversations. Forms. For this specific example, when we're talking about forms for support, this might be on a page that's called support, and then you have a specific form on that page where someone might say, hey, I need help with something, I can't find the answer in your knowledge center, contact our support team, and then that form would be the one that they submit when it comes into this in uh, support inbox, they would go ahead and answer it there. And then uh, in this case, maybe support might, might not be the right place to uh, sync Facebook Messenger, but if you're creating one inbox where you're just getting started with conversations, you want all of these to go to just one inbox, um, you can also connect Facebook Messenger. So, or if you have a business where the majority of things you're getting through your Messenger page are actually support requests or questions, um, you could choose to connect Facebook Messenger here as well. So for the sake of what we're doing here today, I'm just gonna choose that we're gonna connect chat. Um, actually, um, you can go in and connect other channels later, but just to show you what this looks like. So here, since I have a specific inbox um, for support, this chat uh, bot's gonna be just for setting up a support chat. So you can choose your accent colors, you can choose what your teams are. This custom name and avatar is going to be from what shows up inside of your HubSpot settings. Um, the contact owner would be if someone's been to your website before and they're registered as a lead and they're in the HubSpot system, when they come to your website, they might see that whoever owns that contact, this would be really relevant for a sales case where the sales agent would be the one that actually shows up on that live chat. We can choose contact owner. So all these things here, and we go through all this in depth in our uh, video on how to set up live chats. So we're just gonna kind of breeze through these here and then next, and I've got a preview and I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. Great. 
So if I click view that message in inbox, so here I'm inside of the inbox and I can choose to again, connect other different channels to this inbox. And then I've got a variety of inbox settings that again, get me back to that place where I can edit those, uh, those channels. So if I were to um, send out a support message, um, my email isn't connected right now. So let's actually go through and walk you through that. We're not gonna connect an email message, but I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So I click on email. And it's gonna say, do you wanna set up a shared email account or a personal email? In this case, we would probably, in a support case, have support at xyz.com. If I clicked on yes, this is a shared account, the next thing it's gonna ask me to do is connect to that hosting provider. In, most, in many cases in businesses, it's gonna be uh, G Suite or this uh, Office 365. So go through that validation the same way you validated your personal email address when you set up HubSpot initially, um, you would sync that right here. So we're not gonna do that right now, but if we did, that would show up right here in this channel. So I'm actually gonna go to a inbox that's currently set up so you can see what this looks like. I'm gonna go to this inbox here. And so now that I've got this inbox set up, um, I can also see these other channels, go back to conversations and uh, here we go. Okay, so right now we have no conversations that are currently active, but if we did, they would look uh, similar to what you see inside of the chat pane where we've got, here's what someone said, and then we can respond to them there. Um, if you do get a notification that comes in, I'm gonna actually open a different portal and show you what this looks like. Uh, inside of our Simplestrat account. Okay, so this is actually an example of a live uh, inbox that has messages in them. So you'll see that we've got uh, all these things that are actually coming in through chat. So the majority of our um, support, I guess, if I were using this as an example, the support requests are coming in as, as chats. So I've got this message right here. So you'll see that we actually had an away message that was on. Um, a visitor said, you know, hey, what email should I use to follow up? So let's say that, that this came in through this portal and I actually am out of the office, but I've got it set up to be notified on my mobile device. So to do that, we'd actually go into the HubSpot app. So, I'm, so I'll pull up on the mobile app and it's gonna be under more. And there's this conversations piece here. When I click into conversations, again, assuming this is all set up, I've got a very similar screen to what I see here on the computer with all conversations assigned to me and assigned in chat. So I'm gonna go to all conversations here, pull open this first one and you'll see that we've got the same message that we just saw on that computer screen. So if I wanted to actually respond right here in the app, I could do that. Um, I could write a message and go ahead and send it, or I can choose to assign it to someone else. I'm gonna assign it to Tyler, and then he gets notified that he has been assigned to respond to that message. So that's how to use conversations at a very basic level. There's gonna be a lot more advanced levels uh, in terms of setting up that email address. You can choose to have someone else respond um, automatically if you have a paid service seat. Um, if you don't, then you have to go in here and monitor this and, and assign it to people on your team to respond uh, and take care of it that way. So again, if you have Facebook Messenger integrated here, you're gonna see that as one of the options here on the side as message and you can choose to uh, sort by only messenger requests, only chats, only emails that came in through that support, uh, and then if you wanted to connect a form. So real quick, let's jump into how to connect that form. Um, we'll show you that real quick here as well. So I set up edit, and I've got forms over here. If I want to connect a form, I'd actually create a new form. And then when you walk through this creating a form, assuming this is gonna be on your support page, this is how you would create that form. And then when you click update that form, it would sync right there with your inbox. So we're gonna cancel this and not go through the whole creation process. But if you did that, uh, then it was gonna show up over here in your, uh, in your inbox. So if I click on my inbox, conversations, there we go. It would show a form over there on the left-hand side. So that's how to set up HubSpot conversations. Go ahead and get all of those active uh, and live, and you'll be able to see how those messages come in, test them with a few contacts inside of your company, and then turn them on and be ready to help customers from a variety of different angles, all in one central inbox. For more HubSpot hacks, tips, and how-tos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment below if you have an idea for a future video, and we will see you next week.